How you all doing? What are we going up to in this video? Well, as a lot of you probably already know, I've got a new project and it was supposed to come with a full luggage, but they couldn't find it. But it all worked out in the end, so, so we'll get back to that in a different video. Uh, some of you may remember my white CBR. This is the top box. The CBR 1000F came with when I bought it. Nice divvy box. This is the rack I want to fit it to, but uh, there should be a look there and a look there and a pyramid there so the top box can lock into it. Okay, so I don't know if you've seen or remember the uh, XJ, XJ900 diversion video I made of the uh, wing rack. The wife couldn't sit on the back because the boxes were too far forward, so I uh, used the fixing plates that came with the boxes and moved those back as far as I could and fitted them to the wing rack. And I did take these parts off the wing rack. And luckily, I saved them. Never throw anything away. You can buy the uh, special plates, but uh, what I'm going to do in this video is try and make the plate. So, let's get on with it. Okay, so I don't know if you can see that. I've marked the lines out. It's that one. Ignore that one. And that one. This uh, steel plate is pretty heavy. It was off an old-fashioned TV cabinet, believe it or not. And it is very heavy. I don't know what sort of steel it is. I think it could be sprung steel. It's definitely not mild steel. Could be sapphire and steel. Could be David steel. But anyway, didn't cost me anything, so I got it for a steel. <laughs> So, let's cut it out. So that's that cut out. Uh, <clears throat> made a bit wonky there, but uh, I'm going to be cutting some more of this off, so I'll try to get it straighter next time. Well, that's my dull bollocks excuse, anyway. Uh, this side is good. That side, that was already there, that can just be cut off. So, yeah, let's see what we can come up with. Okay, so I've just got to measure these two and transfer it to a sheet of paper. I did the inside measurement, which is 21 and a quarter centimetres, millimetres, from that lip to that lip. Okay, so this is my sheet of paper. What did I say? 21 and a quarter. Uh, you'll have to excuse the wire if it keeps getting in the way, but my... Uh, wireless microphone set has packed up so I've had to order a new one so we'll try and get that in the middle of this don't we 21 and a quarter would it yeah millimeters uh, now I can remember that I'll well, we'll try and find the middle of this page don't I This page is oh my god, how am I going to find the center? If we can make some marks, be a better idea, wouldn't it? Get that level now. My fingers are nice and dirty.
make that walk where are you? Make that walk and then where's the other one? Oh yes, make that walk. Ah, that's better, isn't it? It's a bit more precise, Johnny boy. Shows you how your brain goes mushy when you get older. Okay, so we're back up here. Let's make it a bit more pronounced, shall we? Then we want these a bit more pronounced. There we go. You tell I went to art school, can't you? Okay, so I think I'm there. Uh, I'll cut that off. Cut up there. Cut up there. Cut across there. But then hopefully we should be there. Get these scissors work. Gotta make that out of steel. And to grind that bit off. And then uh, mark round there. So let me mark this out and I'll be back in a bit. Okay, I'm back. So we've uh, got this side marked out. When I've come to this side, something don't look quite right. So what I should have done in the first place to find the middle of the page was just fold it in off and then as you can see we need to cut that bit off because it's too big and then we should be ready to go there we go yes, we could, I don't know if you could see that pencil line but it's the pencil line is just there, and it should be just there. That one is no good. Yeah, the top one. And there we go. So you've already seen the angle grinder so I'm going to cut these bits out and then I'll be back when I've done that. Okay so I'm happy with that. Oh it's very heavy. Obviously I'm going to smooth these edges off a lot better. I've marked it out. Okay so these, these ones are centre punched with the aid of this and these ones with this just painted it on and uh, put it in place and hopefully they're going to be right so let's fire the drill up to you these ones didn't quite line up so I've just filed in a bit so hopefully now it'll line up properly right then put that down there it wants to be on the inside so that wants to be like that screw that on that bit Hopefully we 
can see the hole now. Screw that in there. Pinch them up. Then, got these things, stick that in there. on there. Same with the other one, push that through down there. Stick that on there. There you go. And then, hopefully, by some miracle, that's going to fit. <laughs> so what do you think guys? Place your bets now. Is it going to fit or is it not? It won't fit that way, really. I've got to tell it other. Uh, they've got to go in there. Then that. It's got to click down there. Oh my god! Yes! Overhanging there. I'm going to trim that off. Okay, there it is all cleaned up. So let's get some primer on it. Okay, that's our free coat, so what colour shall we do it? Standard black, I guess. Morning folks, this is a different day from the last clip. Uh, just testing out new microphone, so hopefully there's not too much difference in the sound. So let's carry on from where we left off. Finished painting the uh, plate, left it down here. Uh, not brilliant, but it'll do for me. And now we've just got to put the little bits on. Uh, I have found, well, uh, there is some rubbers as well what go, so I might have to drill some more holes to push four rubbers in to stop the uh, top box rattling about. So, let's do that. Okay then, so we've got all the fittings back on. I put two of the rubbers on. Uh, the other two I had to take off because it wouldn't quite catch onto the top box. I uh, put four bolts through, straight through like that. So we can fix it to the rack. We've took the rack off the bike. It just slots on there like that. And made these little brackets. They slot on there like that. Big brackets for the other side. And fix the rack on with your little nuts. See if the top box still fits. Okay, moment of truth. Push the box through the grooves. That, that's 
put it in the grooves, press it down. Da -da. And there we have it, fixed to the rack. Will it release if I press the button? Yes. So there we go. So now we've just got to go and fit this back to the bike that you're not supposed to see yet. And that's it, job done. Oh yeah, I say the bike you were not supposed to see, but you've probably already seen it. Because uh, I'm not sure if this video is going to go out before the reveal or after the reveal. And it's probably after the reveal. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it's uh, influenced you into uh, fixing your top box on a quick release plate. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. I'll see you in another life, brother.